Okay, today we are looking at what I call baby saves. And we start with this song. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Okay, we know that uh, one of the social vices that we have in the society that we live in is what is called baby dumping. And this is really where the idea of the baby seed is coming from. But let's start from the beginning. What is really the scenario that causes baby dumping and then brings in the intervention of the baby seed? You meet, you, you meet two people. Young people, they are in love with each other, and then you know, they begin to sleep with each other. And then before you know it, the girl gets pregnant, tells the boy that now I'm pregnant. The boy says, ah, you know, like the stereotype, I can't find my period, go look for it. He doesn't want to be a father, he's too young to be a father. So the girl hides the pregnancy. You know, for young people, it's easy. They go about their various activities. They make sure they wear tight clothes that doesn't show. Then, of course, eventually she gives birth, you know, tries as much as possible not to use the hospital. And the moment she gives birth, she throws away the baby. You know, and that's why the intervention now is, if you have a child that you don't want, you know, we have baby safes that are being built. You can drop off the child anonymous instead of throwing the child in the garbage. And then the child either dying because of the element or being eaten by a wild animal and all of that. So this becomes an intervention. So this is part of what sin does. It defeats the maternity. One would have thought that the mother would want to take care of the child, but sin can actually cause a complete reverse. And you know, this is not something that is strange. Even in scriptures, you know, we have those kinds of behavior. Second Kings chapter six, verse twenty-six. Then, as the king of Israel was passing by on the wall, a woman cried out to him, saying, "Help me, O Lord, my king!" And he said, "If the Lord does not help you, where can I find help for you?" from the threshing floor upon the wine press. Then the king said to her, what is troubling you? And she answered, this woman said to me, give me your, give your son that we may eat him today. I will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and we ate him. And I said to her the next day, give your son that we may eat him. For she had eaten my son. So cannibalism, you know, uh, because of the sin of Israel, the idolatry, there was a siege in the land, so much so that people be, became cannibals. You know, mothers eating their own children. So this is what sin does, you know, because I mean, God had forewarned them, but they were not listening. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 53 to 57 really gives in a very graphic picture, and I shall eat the fruit of your body, the flesh of your sons and your daughters, which the Lord thy God has given in the siege, in the straightness where we die, and shall distress you. So sin brings all kinds of evil, and we want to avoid sin. And so this is a call to repentance. You know, if you are living that life of sin, you know, follow the Lord's instruction in relationships. Keep yourself pure until He has put a ring on it, or until you guys get married, you know, so that you know society can function the way God intended. You know, so if you are whether it's relationships or other aspects of your life, this is a call to repentance, so that you can actually live in line with God's will, you know, and be candidates for His blessings.